and I'm Jason Teacher. And today we have Think It Science! So we are doing Nina Purple and we have lesson for today. So today our lesson is called Musical Wire Hanger. So today you will observe the sounds of a wire hanger. So Jason, did you know a wire hanger can be a musical instrument? Wow, Chelsea teacher, I never knew that. So the wire hanger vibrates when it strikes another object. That's so interesting. Yes, and then the vibrations make the sounds that we hear. Oh, okay. So the sound waves travel from the thing that's making the sound to our ears, and today it will be the hanger. So, Jason, why does a wire hanger make sounds? I don't know, Chelsea teacher. Well, let's find out. So, for our experiment today, we need three things. First, we need two pieces of string. And then we need one wire hanger. Very good. So, our first step, we need to tie the two pieces of string on each side of the wire hanger. Okay, Chelsea teacher, and I'm going to double knot them to make them extra strong. Oh, very good, Jason. Yeah. What is our second step, Chelsea teacher? So once you have the strings tied, we need to wrap them around your index fingers so that the wire hanger can swing freely. Oh, okay. What is the third step, Chelsea teacher? So once you have the string wrapped around your fingers, you need to put your fingers in your ears and then we need to hit the wire on different objects around the room. Oh, what are some objects I should hit the hanger against? Um, let's see, today we're going to hit them against four things. Oh. First being the door, mm -hmm. second, um, the wall, oh. and third we will try the chair, Okay. and then last we will do the leg of the desk. All right, does this look okay to you, Chelsea teacher? This looks great, Jason. Oh, fantastic. So, which item should I hit first, Chelsea teacher? Okay, first let's do the door. Oh, okay. So remember, wrap the string around your index fingers, mm -hmm. and then put them in your ears. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, Jason, did you feel any vibration? No, I did not, Chelsea teacher. What Ooh. should I hit? Oh, okay. Oh, anything? No, nothing yet, Chelsea teacher. No. What should I hit next? Let's try the back of the chair next. Ah, okay. Oh, did you hear any vibrations? Any ringing? No, nothing. No? What should I hit next? Okay, let's try the leg of the desk. Okay. Yes, I did. I think the leg of the desk is metal, so I can hear a ringing sound, and the other three objects are wood, so I can hear no ringing. Wow, Jason. Very good. Okay, so to recap, Jason, did you hear any ringing when you hit the door? I heard no ringing when I hit the door. Okay, what about the wall? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. And nothing when you hit the chair? Nothing when I hit the chair either. Wow. Okay. So when you hit the leg of the desk. Yes. When I hit the leg of the desk, it made a loud ringing noise. Wow. Okay. That's great, Jason. So this, do you think that sound is caused by vibrations or do you think it's only caused by metal? Mm. I think it's caused by vibrations. I think you're right, Jason. Very good. So, a vibration happens when something moves back and forth slowly or quickly. Quickly! Oh, very good, Jason! Wow, you are so good at this experiment. So, let's do some review, Jason. Okay. A thing that vibrates makes a sound or a thing that swings makes a sound? What do you think? I think it's a thing that vibrates makes a sound. Very good! And number two, do you think that sound or light moves from the hanger to your ears? I think that sound moves from the hanger to my ears. Ooh, wow, very good. All right, number three, wood or metal makes a ringing noise? I believe that metal makes a ringing noise. I think so too, because when you hit the chair, which is made out of wood, there was no ringing noise. Mm -hmm. Wow, very good. 
Okay, Jason, now we have some true and false questions. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, number one. Sound cannot move through the string. I think that is false. I think that the sound can actually move through the string. Oh, very good. Okay, number two. The wire hanger makes sound waves. I think, true, I think the wire hanger does make sound waves. Yes, and that is our instrument today. And number three, wood vibrates better than metal. I think that's false, Chelsea teacher. I do not think that wood vibrates better than metal. I think you're right, Jason. And number four, the wire hanger makes different sounds when it hits different objects. True, because when I hit the wood objects, it did not make a ringing sound. But when I hit the metal, it did make a ringing sound. Oh, very good, Jason. Okay, so that is the end of our experiment today. Great job. Thank you, Chelsea teacher. Bye. Bye.